some fat fucking old jackass on me, please. Big man. We had a deal. We had paperwork. Hey. Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real fat asses. Put a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a deal hey. with them. Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes. A pleasure. You fuck what? Where are you going, tough guys? But you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. A rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah, thank but... God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, 
then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief! So? So, there's some, uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. Their particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Here we are. Let's wait for... That's it? This is not the car we're looking for. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh, what's this? That's not it. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Here we go. Uh, not our guy. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. That's the one. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Take the next right. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I 
just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls, and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's making a left, up there. He's taking the next left. He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah. 
Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent, I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay, so lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go, get a job. Cause I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. There they are, outside. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little... Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to write a screen... Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. 
This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? Well, well, what? Are you... I, I had some really good work there, you dick. There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Now, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe. If you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. oh whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the Angslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh. Come on, just not the tongue. I need that for my work. Mm. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Ooh. Ah, fuck the paparazzi are gonna. Help. Oh. Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? I'm by. Uh, ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Uh, oh, my God! Uh, Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do. If I knew I was getting this much work done, I, I would have brought a camera crew. <gasps> Don't fucking squirm! Uh. Now hold it. Please don't tattoo a cock. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? There we go. Nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. 
Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the fiend machine baddie. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't have to feel superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking. Guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Hear, hear. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you could just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Excuse me? I'm fighting. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. 
And that's really all the time we have. Oh, but... great. I think we made some real progress there. <sighs> oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home, then? You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Eeny meeny miny mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. And what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the, uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. 
Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So... <laughs> so you do want a mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. <sighs> hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin. What the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it. down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today, Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over.
you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? So he's like I just watched really Evan Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. 
I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by Korea. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. How you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So. I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. <clears throat> now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and then we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you'll remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. We doing this? Yeah, real soon, Frank. Pick up the fire truck and RV with Gus Moda and Daryl Johns. I'll give you word when I'm out of the bureau. I got it, dog. At least we can count on these guys in a pinch. Just clear your pass with security, and you can go up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up.
batteries in the lights last forever. Dirty mop. There you go. Dirty. Thirty. You know you stay too late when the mopping dead show up. All right. Another janitor? Was the last one a heart attack or a budget cut? When are you gonna get out of here? When I log my OT for the week. Man, it's not about being effective. I sure wish I could get a high work. They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Shit's in motion, people. We raiding the bureau. Y'all ready for this? 
In and out, Holmes. Let's do it. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. I'll get this turnout gear on. Painkillers or that hallucinatory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. We take these up six stories. Server rooms on 53. Not much further. Let's punch it! Ah, oh, man, kinda. 
That explosion must have knocked me out, man. Torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dot, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute they'll be looking for us. Looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else has got to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. You don't want to run into him. <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get-out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? I feel a whole lot better. Blesters. Now that we're clear, I can probably tell you people, I didn't think we were going to make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a duel, man. Oh, yeah, shit. I don't like speaking ill of the department, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, we made it out. So we got that to be thankful for. Daryl's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Hey, man, it was our fault Daryl went down. Really? Why's that? Didn't you speak to the guy? Nothing was his fault, so it, uh... It must have been us, right? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'll put it down to bad leadership then. 
I can tell you that because the leader was dumb enough to take you in there. True that. Hey, let's the place up here. It's yeah, Loco! Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> man, that's some foul ass shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. Hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. 
there's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Mike, this your frequency? Some more of these guys kill each other. for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T! You got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. They got a hard on for me. I need them gone. Rogue agents, even more of them. We're clear. I'm moving up to the reflecting pool. Division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. I'm between the fountain and the reflecting pool. Come on! Over here! Get behind the reflecting pool! Uh, what happens to Hayes? Try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. The longer 
you take, the longer I gotta wait to kill you, Am. What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. Great. Another chopper. Doing smoking, huh? Come on, come on. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me, huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch. Who deserves to be put under? Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay too, because then you and I get to go to hell, <gasps> and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history, but history nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? But it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. <sighs> Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh, shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One. 
front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at them from two angles. All right, I'll take that on board.
ain't sneaky, dude. I still ain't met your ass. I can take care of myself. Go. T, call me, dog. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn and get horny on your office supply. You trying to run up on me, bitch? Hey, we getting out of here, man. Let's go. Shit, homie, you all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. Oh, how they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz end. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather, or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm in the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got? And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was and everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga, stress new. Everybody knew stress new. Tanisha knew stress new, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a Kush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dog. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. <laughs> Nigga. So I guess 
I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the city. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Just payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours are try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Car. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. No, nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, oh me. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Meriwether, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Oh, oh, shit, sorry. from our exclusive line.
Get in the back, Pop. A stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my neck rolls, entitled, E-N-T, uh, titled, cause I am, Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Hey, let's meet up next Jimmy, time. shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look, I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry. But I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste! Hey, we're here! Pop, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you should make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up in the lake. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought is uh, across my mind. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards, Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go She's over here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, uh, Laszlo! Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see? I was here, unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! 
Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on! The girls might be in trouble at the house! What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole's pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? Shit, he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Come on! Come on! All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. You stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one leaves! I told you to fuck off! Fire in the hole! Fire! I need cover! Now! Not yet! Stay put! He's up! Neither do I. Just keep calm. I'm fine, Trace. Just stay down, sweetie. No one's gonna kill you. Daddy's got this. Yeah, I guess that's that, motherfucker. You, you dick. Oh, uh, be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. What was that? Someone there? I'm going to start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Get the fuck off me. Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? 
All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Oh, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't sure on excuses to come and kill you. Nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Oh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Can you ask the DJ to play some horrorcore? Hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me, right. Enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can, you're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's gotta be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again. I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Well, he's had my back on every job since I got up and running again. He deserves a shot at the big one. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars. Eddie Toe, now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. 
Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. Hey, man. So we really doing this shit? Frank, come on. Next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state-of-the-art. Cute! Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. Come on, we're on the clock. Let's get to the tunnel. This the best you could do? What are you talking about? These fucking guys? They're cool. Look, we pulled that thing with them. It went fine. It went down okay, didn't it? You don't want me on board? I can walk. You setting these guys up for a fall? Huh? Is that what this is about? If they're the diversion, maybe it makes sense. This whole treachery thing is new to me. Don't listen to this asshole. It's all good. No one is being set up. I've heard that before. Shut it, Trevor. This is the big one. And fuck me if we don't need any doubts in the back of our heads. All right, the trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. And no need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. Drop the stinger. Okay, now keep driving. Oh, shit. Move your ass! You do not want to die for this shit! Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Your move, buddy. No, 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 no! Get a fucking move on! Come on, move! Hurry up! Just hold on! First, move. Let's go! Hey, you please, get these please, ready! Please, please. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, we got a one-minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter come in! Who you no. like? This one. No. Oh, shit. Hey, please, whatever you do. Yeah, need. no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Uh, Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go! Go, go, go! go. Get in! Let's go. go! Come on! Go! Move! Your welfare! Quit whimpering. Union Depository, here we come. Shit, 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 shit! Relax, man. I'm the one who should be crapping myself. I'm about to rob the biggest bank on the planet. Fuck! Fuck! Look! Casey! I need you calm. You're no use to me when you're freaking the fuck out. Where you want to be right now is useful. Yeah, right. Cool. Cool as a cucumber. This is the tonight. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Gets me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Eggplant 22 inside. Stand by.
by. They're here. Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization? Good. Good? Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Right behind you, sir. And I'm right behind you. Yeah, I can see you. I got eyes in the back of my head. Then you see me aiming right between those eyes in the back of your head. How's things? Uh, good. Yeah, uh, um... Uh, fine. I bet the freeway is an absolute B star star CH today. <laughs> Tell me when it isn't. And you gentlemen have to sit in those trucks, bored out of your minds, staring at more money than you know what to do with. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Collection team is here. Now, that is some kind of door. Hey, so, you know what to do? Uh-huh. Come on. Okay. job to do. Absolutely. Oh, shit. <whistles> Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Now, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. Uh, all right, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule game. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. These are heavy. A little over two tons of pallet. Yeah? So what's that worth? Gold's trading at uh, around 1,700 to 2,000 an ounce. 35 ounces a kilo, give or take. 1,000 kilos a ton, so that's... $200 million or thereabouts. Give me a sip. Yep, that sounds about right. Collection team has the cargo. Got many jobs after this? No, this last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. This much metal ain't normal, is it? Quite irregular. Order came down this morning, but the computer cleared it. Well, let's hope no one untoward gets word. That's what you and the rest of the security gets paid for, isn't it? Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! All right, come on, let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. Ah, that's it! Let's go! Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe I could on, just, Casey, you know... Hey, come on, Casey, suck it up! You can't handle the hangover, Case. Do not overindulge. That's right. This man right here will teach you a little something about moderation. Thanks. No. Thank you. Really. Cargo is gone.
Be cool, Case. We unloaded Mission Row, you go on your way. Control. Pickup was good. How's it looking up there? Not good, man. Mary wasn't know we took the UD. They out there looking for you. Fuck. You got a solution for this problem? We got this signal I had. I can use it to keep you away from them clowns. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, okay, okay. The link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Damn, this shit seem easy enough. Okay, we in. I'm kind of figuring this shit out, peeps, and I've got you an okay link up. There's lag, but there's not like major lag. Good work. Heading south. Right behind him. Hey, Merc's coming from the east, man. We gotta head east at this junction. This one looks good. Hey, make a left at the junction. Let me in so I can fuck ya. Hey, I picked up more Merriweather northwest of your position. Yeah, go right at this junction. Green light ahead. She wants it, and she got it. Cool, head over this one. We got a green light. Yeah, uh, make a right right there. Hey, we flagged some bad dudes on the west. Control, we are stopped. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. One sec. Oh, yeah. Then, uh, make a right turn. Hey, they coming from the south. Top of the grid, man. Shit, more Merriweather. They're waving us through. Okay, now. Home stretch. This one's clear. Three, two, one, done. Hustle up! You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the mail. Damn right, all without firing a bullet. Oh, don't forget oh, our dude. case here, uh, huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please don't. No, wait. Biggest score of our lives, we ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. Gee. Well, no, it ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. What? Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing was your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old blasted boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking A! Yeah! Oh, hey, man! Fuck! Work first, bicker later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Mary with! Mercenary motherfuckers! Right. You, keep loading. We'll deal with this. I bet the homeless is happy we paid them to get out of here! Hold them down! Ow! Come on, you assholes!
Shooters up there on the overpass! Man, we always getting fucked with. You! Hold the perimeter. Everyone else, in your cars. We leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags of bulging. Huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You wanna try? Be my guest. All right! Lead the way. You're on me. Calling on you, We're about to pull left. Let's beat that LS traffic. Cops are applying pressure. We're going together. Let's look here. Stay with
All right. Those guys will take care of the metal. Lester's meeting us at my place. Hang on. We're, we're just leaving the gold. Yepper. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold. Hey, T, have a little faith. What? <coughs> faith? In you, buddy? All right, in Lester, in the process. Come on, we've been through it a million times. Any fool can take a score. It's getting away clean that makes the difference between those who walk free and those who do not. <laughs> man, I wouldn't know what to do with that shit. I'm guessing you wouldn't either, man. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just have some trusting issues right now, Franklin. If we get away with this, if, and it's a big if, man, then I can finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores, and you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic, both of you. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, we did it, assholes. We did it. Gentlemen! Ah, uh, Lester. We have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that, uh... It's gonna be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah, now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done? Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. That's his fucking fault. Fuck, fuck, fuck you, you man! Hey, 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 hey! God. For a couple of Midwest stick up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey! Leave Lester alone! Oh! Oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all the assholes! 
Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, I'm sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck! Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. Imagine a fucking scenario that would fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, 
that you boys were at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dog. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Wesley, that punk bitch, why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping. We creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Look, man, Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Right here. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Near the building. Watch your sector. Gee, dog, you gotta wait.
coming, you prick! Just one. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some cup.
Looks like we did it. See it for now. Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch, we want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> it's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? This. Stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I want to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple of loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga.
the beast club. I'm going to do it again. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming out. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hates. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. Moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. So, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Great American melting pot. Two parts diluted fantasy, one part degenerate reality. Mix. And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB. What's really going on under. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. God, that's a cliche, man. <clears throat> man. That's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality fly. Oh my god! God! What's his name? He shot him! with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongwood Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Look 
your goddamn neck! Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Combat it! Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes, that's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here. Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. 
Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak to give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. Why people want to kill you? You won't shut up! Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. <laughs> Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no. Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I would ain't you going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. 
I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.